What up guys, how's it going? So I guess programming is one of the hottest things going on right now. There's a lot of buzz, a lot of online courses, and a lot of promise behind it. In this video, I'm just going to give my opinion on one of the ways you can go about learning programming. I'm not saying it's right. There's probably a lot of people out there that might disagree with me, but that's okay. This is the internet, right? So I can say whatever I want. Learning programming could really benefit you no matter what industry you're in. It doesn't have to be tech. You don't have to become this super guru, wizard, programming master. No one is. The steps that we're going to go through kind of mimic the curriculum you might follow at a technical college, but you definitely don't have to go to a fancy school to become a programmer. So let's just start the video assuming you have zero knowledge and you're a total noob. Level one warrior. Okay, first thing. Do not, I repeat, do not take one of those three month crash courses on Ruby on Rails or learning Android as your first foray into programming. This is kind of like learning to run before you can walk and it's a little bit counterproductive. So let's do it a different way. The first thing that you have to do is pick a programming language to start you off. So you can pick Ruby, just don't pick Ruby on Rails. You don't have to think too hard about what language you're gonna pick because you're a big noob, so just pick one and that's where we're gonna get started. One language that I usually recommend people start with is Python. It has a really nice syntax and it's easy to get up and running. And just like everything else in the world, you can Google for anything you want. So once you pick your basic language, it's gonna be your vessel for learning. Write some dummy programs, Google for things, figure out what an array is, how do you sort something, what is a stack? What does a data structure mean? What's an algorithm mean? So there's probably also a lot of online courses that you can use to help you out here. The only thing you have to do in this phase is just get your feet wet and play around with that language a little bit. Okay, so after a few weeks or a couple months of doing that, you're probably getting familiar with one language and that's really awesome. You probably can't do anything really practical with your skills yet, but that's okay. If you got this far, it's really awesome, you know, you showed initiative, picked up this new programming language that not many people can understand. But just remember, once you get here, it's still not time to take those online courses yet. Just hold back, don't do it yet. Those crash courses seem a little sexy because you can kind of like make a website or write an app right away, but you're still not ready for it at this point. At this point, you're a little familiar with that first language you picked and you have to bite the bullet and study a little more. I know you're not gonna be productive anytime soon, but this is the toughest part that you just have to truck through. Now you have to learn basic computer science and you have to learn how a computer works. This might not seem efficient if you just wanna get a website up, but trust me, just do this part and it'll be well worth it. Okay, first you have to learn fundamental computer science, which is usually just simple data structures and algorithms. There's definitely online courses for this too. Just take like a general introductory computer science course and it should be really good. Once you do this part, I also recommend choosing a different language for this part. So if you pick Python to get your feet wet, maybe you can pick Java to learn a little bit more about data structures and algorithms. The next part, second part is that you have to just kind of understand how a computer works on a really basic level. You have to know what a byte is, you have to know what memory is, what's RAM, what does compiling mean, what does a processor do, what are the basic responsibilities of an operating system. You definitely don't have to be a master behind a lot of this computer stuff, but on a basic level you have to understand how it's all working besides just typing on your keyboard and things happening. So actually, a lot of the videos I've made revolve around computer basics. So a good place to start is maybe watch my videos and then read more on the topics. So that's the second part. The first part, you have to learn computer science basics. And the second part is you have to just understand on a really fundamental level what a computer is. A computer is the backbone of programming after all, right? Okay, so if you get to this point, that's really, really awesome. So maybe at this point you know one or two programming languages, you have a basic feel for computer science, and you have the fundamentals behind how a computer works. Congrats if you get to this level, it's a pretty big milestone. For the next step, now you can really get into a little more application programming based on your interests. 
If you wanted to build a website, now you can go look at that Ruby on Rails tutorial. If you want to build a mobile app, maybe you can go check out that iOS tutorial. So the main pet peeve I have with a lot of the online courses today, not all of them, but some of them, they kind of just jumpstart you right into this phase without the proper fundamentals. If you start at this phase too early and just go through these crazy tutorials without knowing what's going on, it's actually really, really counterproductive. So while you're learning how to program, you should always ask yourself, do I understand why this is working or why this is not working? If you're going through a tutorial and you're just writing a bunch of code they're telling you to write without really understanding what's going on, it doesn't help you too much. Once you have a good foundation down, the sky is really the limit with where you want to take your programming. You can kind of follow your interest around and just gravitate towards what you think is really cool or what you want to learn. Alright guys, uh, I hope this video wasn't too long. I typed out a lot and I talked a lot, so hopefully I do some insane editing and this all gets cut down. The one takeaway from this entire video is that Please don't take those programming crash courses online when you don't feel like you're ready for them. It's not even going to be a good use of your time and it's not going to be too productive. So my advice is really just take your time. It might suck because you can't do anything useful, but just, you know, learn the fundamentals, start walking before you run, and just have fun with it. It all pay off soon and, you know, like I said before, you don't have to be an engineer in tech to really kind of appreciate programming. It's just like a cool way of thinking and it could help you out a lot, I think. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. If you liked it, you know, please give me a like down here or subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to just hit me up on YouTube and I'll catch you guys next time, alright? Peace out.